Hello dear students, in this video we are going to talk about our worksheet 1. In this video we will solve worksheet 1 to get it, so let's start. Worksheet 1, question number 1. Indicate the two statement or statements and correct the false one or ones. Number 1. Herbivores, they are the animals that feed on both plants and animals. So what do you think? Is this true or false? Herbivores, they are the animals that feed on both plants and animals. Sure, this is false. Herbivores, they are the animals that feed only on plants. So this is false. Or we can correct it in another way. We can say that Omnivores, they are the animals that feed on both plants and animals. So we can solve it in two ways. Number two, the falcon detects its prey by using its sense of smell. So the falcon smells the prey and then it attack it and kill it. Sure, this is false. The falcon detects its prey by using its sense of vision. Which sense organ? It's the eye. So here it's false. Or if you want, we can solve it in another way. We can say that instead of the falcon, the dog detects its prey by using its sense of smell. Number three, animals that feed on food of plant origin called insectivore so the animals that feed on food of plant origin they said insectivore this is a note you have to pay attention to animals that feed on food of plant origin we said they are herbivore sometimes animals they feed only on insects so these animals that feed on insects only we call them insectivore or some animals they feed only on grains so we call them grainivore. So here, animals that feed on food of plant origin is called insectivore. False. We can correct it in two ways also. Or either we said that the animal that feeds on food of plant origin is called herbivore. Or we can say that animal that feed on food of insects origin or uh, that feed on insects is called insectivore. Number four. The horse and the rabbit, they are herbivores. This is true. So this is the correction. False omnivores, they are the animals that feed on both plants and animals. Or you can say that herbivores, they are the animals that feed on plants only. Number two, the falcon detects its prey by using sense of vision. Number three, an animal that feed on insects only is called insectivore. And number four, the horse and the dog, they are here before, and this is question number two. In order to study how grasshoppers identify and choose their food, the following two experiments are performed. In the first experiment, two colored and empty sacks are presented to the grasshopper. One of the sacks is green in color, and the other one is yellow the grasshoppers they are attracted to the green sack so they use their sense of vision and the green color attracted the grass in the first experiment they move toward the green sack this is the green sack and this is the yellow sack so they are attracted toward the green so the green color attracted the grasshoppers the second experiment two sacks they have the green color they are presented of the uh, to the grasshoppers so one of the sacks contain herbs while the other contains sand the animals they are attracted the grasshoppers they are attracted to the sack containing herbs pay attention here as a note that these two sacks they are permeable to the odor meaning that the odor can go through the sacks so here the one containing grass or herbs and this the one contains sand so they move toward 
the one containing the grass so they smell so they use their sense of smelling so what do you, they use which organ they use the antenna so formulate the hypothesis which is tested in each experiment and experiment one experiment two to the results of the two experiments confirm your hypothesis what the meaning of this meaning that do the results of the experiments uh, make your hypothesis true or the hypothesis is true according to the experiment number three draw out a conclusion meaning that give a conclusion and not to draw give a conclusion from these two experiments number four name the senses and the sense organ used by the grasshopper in each of the following experiments before we start you have to know about hypothesis. what is a hypothesis hypothesis you have to give a probable and temporary solution to a given problem what the meaning it should be formulated or should be written in the form affirmative sentence and it includes doubt meaning that maybe or we suppose that so we are not sure 100 percent that this is true but this should be logical even though it's false because the hypothesis could be true or it may be false but it should be verifiable experimentally or through a research so here through an experiment we're working through experiment mainly it's linked to the post problem for example in the first experiment we suppose that the grasshopper depends on the color because it moved to the green sack and not to the yellow sack while in the second experiment experiment two we suppose that the grasshopper depends on the color on the odor here first on the color second one to the odor because we said that the sack they are permeable to the food number two do the result of the two experiments confirm your hypothesis yes why because the grasshopper in the first experiment is attracted to the green sack which means it depends on the color while to the one containing herbs or containing grass in the second experiment if that's found in the sack permeable to order allow the passage of the odor so it depends on both the odor and the color meaning that depends on the vision and it depends on smelling draw out the conclusion so the grasshopper it depends on the color it sees and on the odor it smells to choose the food so here the color it sees and the odor it smells so what are the sense and the sense organ color it sees so it uses the vision as a sense while the sense organ it is the eye while odor it smells odor we use our nose as human being while the grasshopper the organ used for smelling it's called the antenna so here the sense and the sense organ smell and vision they are the senses the sense organ they are the eyes and the antenna so the antenna for smelling and the eyes for vision okay guys thank you bye bye